Hi guys, welcome back to another No Place To Be video. I'm James. I'm Matt. I'm Alex. And today we've got a really exciting video. We're going to be reviewing the Wingman of the Road motorbike tent. Completely unsponsored, our opinions. We own three of these tents already and we're really excited to get started and tell you all about them. So first and foremost, we've tested these tents in all sorts of conditions. We're going to give you a very honest opinion today, um, showing you how they hold up in every type of uh, weather you could possibly imagine. Right guys, so this is how the tent comes off the bike. So to get this set up, it's really straightforward. You just undo the metal buckles like so and roll it out. This end, you've got all the tent pegs uh, and poles that you're gonna need to put this together. And you just undo the canvas straight away. At this point, you've got your ground sheet at the bottom and you've got your tent as so. That's all that comes with the tent. That's all you're gonna need before you get started putting it up. The unique selling point of this tent is that it's everything that you're going to need to camp for the night. So you've got your tent, ground sheet, sleeping bag, roll mat, all included inside of this uh, canvas here. We'll take it apart, put it up for you and show you just how easy it is to use. Hey guys, Matt here, and on my left, you can see the Toucan, and on my right, the Goose, which is Alex's. I bought the Toucan myself back in April 21. Um, after watching a review by somebody else who's quite tall, I'm six foot one, um, and deciding that basically it was worth the taller rider getting the Toucan tent, even though it's technically a two-man tent, um, I think that would actually be quite cozy. Um, I'd say it's ideal just for anybody six foot plus really so we've traveled a lot and you're probably gonna see a lot of footage of us um, putting the tents up sleeping in the tents as James has said in all sorts of weathers um, but with the tents on the back of the bikes as well you'll see that the Toucan it's not actually that much bigger um, if you've got panniers that drop down um, and the bike that's got a passenger's seat that's wide enough to accommodate a tent at all then chances are the Toucan's not going to be much different to the Goose as you're probably going to see on the footage. Um, you can see inside the tent you've got the sleeping bag and that's zipped into the mattress itself. Nice and easy, can't really go wrong. You can unzip the whole thing, take out the foam, um, which I've done, and then put that straight into the machine, uh, washing machine. Um, We'll have some of the uh, stats up on the screen as well about the, what, the width between the two different tents. Um, but what would, one thing he doesn't come with is a pillow. So we, when we've been camping, tend to just leave the pillows in there, roll the whole thing back up again, and then when it, you unroll your tent, the pillow's in there all ready to go. Uh, for around summertime you can probably get away with just wearing your boxer shorts or even just some leggings but you might want some jogging bottoms as soon as it's getting into sort of spring or autumn so i'll, I'll just give you a quick comparison me again six foot one ish pretty cozy <laughs> A 
lot more space in here. With the Toucan especially, you can at least sort of sit in the tent itself to put your boots on. But obviously it's not like a big camping tent where you've got a porch, you can sit around and relax. So if it's raining, um, whereas a couple of nights it has done, we just sort of get the tents up as quick as we can, get in, zip up, and then try and have a conversation in the dark. <laughs> Another great aspect of the canvas, as opposed to the um, sort of nylon-y tents or whatever they're made of, polyester, I'm not quite sure, um, is they're really, really good at blocking out the sunlight. So many a times when we've been camping up in North Scotland and the, the sun's rising at sort of 5 a.m. and doesn't set until like 1 a.m. Um, with the canvas down and zipped up, it's so dark, you just get to sleep straight away. Um, they are fairly waterproof as well. They are treated um, by a wingman of the road with a waterproof agent. Um, they're not perfect, a bit of damp gets in when it's um, harsh rain coming in from the side. Um, but they do dry out fairly quickly as well. Okay guys, Alex here. I'm just going to go through a few more extra features, some value for money options and overall opinion on what I thought in my experience of having this tent. In hindsight, I agree with what I said that really just for sitting up, that's probably a good option. But trick one, what both tents have and what I'm going to show you on mine is this canopy, which you've got a few options with. A lot of the advert pictures and what you tend to do is tie that to your bike there. So second option is you can obviously put it down there and that's a really great asset of this tent. You've got all this underneath space for gear because with it being basically a one-man sleeping tent there's no room for gear to put in there with you so you've got this waterproof waxy cotton here which doubles up as a roll bag which we've obviously put the tent on but that can pull out under here and you can put all your gear your boots your anything that's wet your helmet and speaking of helmets what else you can do is you've got this little section here which is going to be quite hard to show you on the camera you have got a little hook that goes under there so obviously you can take a helmet take a boot whatever you want and hang it under there so there's the hook it hang your helmet on there that then goes under this waterproof canopy easy off your days uh, so what I want to talk about real quickly is just value for money these tents come in at around 310 350 something like that. I'll put the actual price bump at the screen so it's quite expensive for a tent but what you got to think about is you get in your sleeping bag your mattress your tent which is highly waterproof all within that price so the average night on an Airbnb 80 quid you use this tent 10 times, 30 quid a night, you almost made your money back straight away there. So currently, this is the only colour that the Wingman of the Road comes into. This is obviously a biker highly focused on the biker market, and because of that, you get this biker image that goes hand in hand with what they're targeting. So with this, you've obviously got the roll-up, the nice logo, it fits perfectly on the back of the bike. And while I'm speaking about that, what you need to actually do is invest in some straps to tie onto the bike, Obviously, you can do your own research on what you want, but what Wingman of the Row recommend and what we'd recommend as a channel is rock straps. I think they're about five quid. You get two, easy. Make sure you pack extras because you don't want to be on a trip, lose all your rock straps, and you're knackered. So once you've tied them on with the rock straps, one thing we're quite focused on as young guys and anyone who's into like the actual aesthetic of bikes and not just the function, we've obviously all got Bonnevilles and a Speed Twin, which is like Bonneville. So we're quite into how it looks and how the aesthetic matches the bike and image I guess these roll up into a nice little compact unit which like I said really ties into the bike you've got the panniers which you can match the color or get a contrasting color we'll put some footage over this and just show how they look and be sure to check out the Scotland videos to how they actually work in function and look good so yeah they look great on the bike they match the actual style of this urban rider Bonneville kind of cruiser look uh, and what else they do is like we said they don't just look good they actually function really well which is quite rare for products uh, so we would really recommend these if you're into one function and two aesthetics
Right guys, so now I'm just gonna do closing statements. Essentially, it's a really good tent, great value for money. They do exactly what they say they're supposed to do. Waterproof, look cool as hell. And they're really comfy, aren't they boys? Yeah, yeah I love exactly. it. Uh, finally, touching well, the man of the road as a company. Uh, they're really active on socials, so they always get back to us on Instagram and things and offer to give any spare parts mm. and things if the tents ever get damaged. And they're really responsive and like to welcome community engagement, which is great. They even do social events such as biker trips into Europe and places like Portugal, which we may certainly check out this year, won't we, boys? We may, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to have a nice uh, night in the woods, and uh, thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to watch the Scotland content, Wingman of the Kitchen review by Alex here, and just have fun viewing all the videos on the channel. So, thank you very much for watching, and we bid you a good day. <laughs>